Chris Brown is yet again in trouble for assaulting a woman, and she is coming after him with a vengeance. Already permanently hated by many across the world for beating up international treasure Rihanna, Chris has repeatedly been in trouble for striking and stalking a number of women, until finally, with his most recent allegation, he has crossed yet another line and is being accused of rape. Oh my god! That was Chris Brown's consistent violence towards women was first brought to light when he was accused of viciously beating Rihanna during an argument before the Grammy Awards, leaving her with black eyes and a bloody face that is hard to talk about, let alone look at. It came to light that Brown had actually assaulted Rihanna a few times prior to the picture landing on social media. But as severe as the beating was, Brown only received probation and community service as part of a plea deal. I'm just trying to figure out why you would do this, why anyone would do this. You would think this experience would have lessened Brown's aggressiveness towards women, as he himself mentioned how much he hated himself for what he did to Rihanna and called himself a monster. But unfortunately, that was not the case. One of his other exes, Karuchi Tran, had to file a restraining order against him as he was sending her death threats and repeatedly contacting her on social media after they broke up. And there were reported instances of both physical and verbal abuse during their relationship as well, which is one of the main reasons she supposedly left. We are going to rise up against you! Many thought Brown was keeping a low profile after he was dragged online for regularly leaving salty comments on Karuchi's social media pages while she was dating her boyfriend Victor Cruz. But it seems that once an abuser, always an abuser, as this most recent accusation came not too long after he was acting the fool online. While attending a party at Diddy's mansion on Star Island in Florida, Brown invited an unnamed woman to hang out with him for the evening. After she arrived, he invited her onto the yacht that was parked at Diddy's private dock and offered her a drink in the kitchen. The woman stated that not long after she finished the drink, she started to feel very woozy and was drifting in and out of sleep, similar to someone who may have been drugged. Brown proceeded to direct her to a private bedroom at the bottom of the boat, closed the door to keep her from leaving, and began to undress her even after she protested. After Brown was finished with the unwanted sexual advances, he supposedly jumped up and said done before leaving the room, and then called the woman the following day to tell her to purchase and use Plan B. How someone who is so successful and wealthy can be so reckless and inappropriate in their actions is always baffling. But in this case, while the woman did not file criminal charges in order to keep her identity secret, she is coming after Brown for $20 million because she continues to deal with extreme emotional distress stemming from the assault. No one has sued Brown at this level, and considering his previous track record that has ended in criminal charges, one would think a judge and jury would be much less lenient, especially regarding what he is accused of if he is indeed guilty. We will see what happens with the lawsuit, but if she is successful, maybe this will finally shut down